To the homeless crisis now, today mayors across the state came together pleading for more funding from the state. California's 13 largest cities were granted millions of dollars from the Homeless Housing Assistance and Prevention Program and the Homeless Emergency Assistance Program. But the funding is set to end in 2023. Cities are not homeless service agencies. Cities are not health and human services agencies. All of the mental health money, all the substance abuse money flows through the counties. And the mayors say if funding is cut off, they will hit a fiscal cliff. Some shelters and programs will be shut down without extended funding. Now, the mayors say they need about $3 billion for the next three years. To better understand why, ABC 10's Becca Hotbegger has a closer look at the dollars in action. I got my driver's license. I got a job. I have a car. Vieta Pinckney lives in Sacramento's La Mancha Apartments, a former hotel near Mack Road and Highway 99, which got turned into 100 units of permanent supportive housing last year through federal, state, and local dollars. From sleeping in the park for over a year, you guys gave me an opportunity. When I was losing hope, I didn't have hope in myself. A $2 million grant from the state's Homeless Housing Assistance and Prevention, or HAP, program is being used to help La Mancha operate for the next 10 years by funding the difference between what tenants pay in rent and the cost of the supportive services that help residents like Pinckney. Take care. Okay. But if we want to continue, because we have exhausted all of the resources that were allocated to Sacramento uh, for Home Key, and so in the next round when we apply, we need this HAP money to do those future projects. We can't without it. The HAP grant program currently helps fund other housing programs within the city of Sacramento, including shelter for women, young adults, LGBTQ youth, and more. Well, I would like to think that the money that's being requested will flow to these kinds of programs and not just tents in a parking lot. Bob Erlenbush is executive director of the Sacramento Regional Coalition to End Homelessness. He wants to see the state extend the HAP funding, but he notes that voters in the city of Sacramento will face a ballot initiative in November that, if passed, would require the city to add potentially several thousand more emergency shelter beds. And he hopes that wouldn't take from the programs currently receiving HAP program money. In and of itself, the HAP funding is great, but the point would be not to divert that money if the ballot initiative passes. Now in Stockton, Mayor Kevin Lincoln says his city has received $6.4 million in those HAP grants. That money has allowed the city to partner with eight different community-based organizations to tackle the homeless crisis. Of course, this is a story we will continue to follow.